Hi guys, um, here today I'm going to show you how to fix a Vive controller, specifically a D-pad. Uh, if you've got a Vive controller where the D-pad is mushy or doesn't feel right like it did before, uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that now. So, uh, to get started you're going to need a Torque 5 screwdriver. So you're going to want a screwdriver that looks autofocus maybe, maybe not, okay. <laughs> um, it's like a star shaped screwdriver, pretty small, have a look, try and find one. I've already removed the screws but I will show you where to find them. So you're going to need to remove the screws here. So you've got one screw, two, three, four, and five. Bear in mind if you do have a warranty, uh, don't do this, send it in for repair because on this top screw there will be a seal and you don't really want to break that if you want to keep your warranty, so bear that in mind, okay? So. What you're going to do is, once all those screws are removed, you're going to remove the top portion here. Okay? So, if you don't think that you have careful hands, don't do this. Um, try and find someone who might be a little bit more careful. Okay? So, you're just going to pinch the top. I recommend using like a little thin, I've got like a little thin flathead screwdriver here. Just go into the side. Okay. So there we are. Top is off. Okay. You can just set that aside for now. Uh, do be warned that these infrared sensors that are here, uh, try not to touch them too much because it may possibly break them or you may damage the banding, uh, ribbon cables or so and so. Um, you must do it in this order because there's no other way to do it. Uh, so what we're going to do next is we're going to remove the bottom portion. So we'll just do that now. So with the bottom portion you kind of just squeeze, squeeze here. On, on that portion and that should you just had it there it kind of does like a little pop now when removing this portion I did find that you've got to be very careful because some of the plastic parts they will scrape along the sensors so just be just be careful have a look around and then once you're ready it'll pop off relatively easy much easier than the top part so now you should just be left exposed with an entirely top part of your Vive controller, okay? But I did forget to mention that there are two more screws to undo when disassembling here. So one of them is just going to be right here, so there's two bigger holes underneath on the black side. So you just want to make sure that you get those. Get a bit of light. So one here and one here. Now they're both still hex five. Uh, uh, no, uh, not hex five. Uh, Torque five. Uh, so just make sure that you take those off and remove, uh, put them back when you are reassembling. So now that that's done, we're just going to remove. This is where it gets very tricky. This is where you definitely need to be very, very, very careful, okay? So, uh, reason being is because inside this housing, in between here, when you split these apart, there's gonna be some uh, ribbon cables that are connected in between. Now, you do not wanna be breaking those at all. Um, otherwise, <laughs> you're gonna be spending quite a lot of money on a new Vive controller. So. Um, you're just going to get your flathead screwdriver you're just going to kind of go along the seam, try and pop it it should come off relatively easy but make sure you just get that pop don't try and crack it off but you'll see what I mean here so you take it off 
and you've got a load of ribbon cables just kind of tied up in here. Right. Okay. So the part that we're going to be looking at is just under here. So on the top side where your D-pad is. So I don't know if you can see this. But right under here, in this ribbon cable, there will be a little black pad. It may have fallen off, it may have not. But this little black pad in this little circle is probably dislodged, like it was for me. Um, and here it is, I don't know whether you can see that, it's just slightly off to the centre, the glue has kind of come off, hasn't done a very good job of staying put. So um, what I did is I just grabbed a pair of tweezers, I just peel it off, so it's just a little little circle. Wow, my autofocus is very bad today. So it's even on. It must be. Yeah. Right. And what you're going to do is you're just going to replace that in the center. Okay? So the glue that's on there now should be enough to keep it in place. Right, so realistically this is all you need to do. If you do still find that you've got some stickiness going on, uh, a lot of people have recommended uh, putting a small piece of plastic film in between. Um, don't put anything too big, something like, uh, like plastic packaging that you find on some cheap products. Um, that could work out very well. But then once that's done, you're just going to carefully snap that back on. Okay. And now it feels exactly like the day of when I bought it. Works perfectly. No sponginess. Nine times out of ten, this will work. I've heard it from other people that it may not work, but that is totally. Uh, free reign for them. Make sure you put the bottom part back on first. Uh, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because you can nick some of these sensors and you really don't want to be doing that. Okay. Uh, it does take a lot of force to put it back on. If it is trapped on a sensor, don't put it, don't put too much force. Give it a nice little bit of wriggle room, it will stop at some point, but just have a look and make sure that it's not trapped. Okay. No. You can give it a little bit more force, pop that back on, set this back on. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I do apologise about my very messy desk. I do a lot of computer repairs. Uh, <laughs> so, um, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. And I hope this all works out for you. Thank you.